What is the purpose of the rioters tearing down statues, demanding name changes, while looting their own neighborhoods and destroying our cities? It can't be because they want to fix anything. No one is that stupid, or are they? There is no remedy acceptable to them, nor do they really want one. There is much more political advantage by keeping this chaos going. They want anarchy in the country in shambles because that is the only way they think they can win the upcoming presidential election. Recharacterizing history and inciting riots is how dictator governments are formed. Anarchists gain power by convincing low-information voters they have a simple answer to complicated problems, always blaming someone else in history for their problems. This pandemic, Black Lives Matter, and the economy are a perfect storm and is being hijacked and exaggerated, making society ripe for indoctrination. In this perfect storm, control health care, increase poverty, increase the debt, remove the ability to self-defend, control the schools, remove God with the state the only authority, and divide society into factions are all happening. They are happening because the storm is making everyone scared. This is right out of the rules for radicals. The statues and the names of famous people are a part of our history. No one is perfect, but they did manage to make this country into the greatest country in the world. Those who have not sinned or those who have accomplished more can be the first to pull on the rope to remove these monuments. These anarchists are like children misbehaving in school. They want to see how far they can push the teacher before being stopped. These thugs and the virtue signalers who support them have no credibility or moral standing, nor have they accomplished anything that deserves any consideration. They have no examples of ever developing a successful, moralistic, fair society of which they would, we would want to be a part. No one voted them into the position of authority. The only examples of their influences are cities with dirty streets laden with crime that are bankrupt. The only common denominator is these cities and states are managed by those who permit it, if not encourage, this madness. If mob rule can intimidate government officials, businesses, sports franchises, universities, and public schools along with enough people who want to vote for those people who support this, we are in big trouble. Not only are the names of the statues of our forefathers and nation national heroes endangered, but the names of the capitals of Nebraska, Wyoming, California, Minnesota, Ohio, and Missouri, along with our nation's capital, are all in danger. Cities like San Francisco, San Antonio, Corpus Christi will soon be added to the list. Religious statues and church windows will not be far behind. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.